So today I have a little makeup and beauty haul that I thought I would share with you. So everything is collective over the last like couple weeks or so. So I have a little bit of makeup and some hair products and some just regular beauty things. So there's also going to be a little really small giveaway at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that and I'm just going to jump right into it. So to start off this video, I am on a no makeup buy, but... On my last No Makeup By Project Pan update video, I mentioned that I was down to my last foundation and it was way too dark for me. So you guys suggested that I should go and just buy a new foundation that actually matched. Which, guys, that was such a bad idea because I went into Sephora and it took them a really long time to find me a foundation that actually matched because I'm so pale. So I was in Sephora for way too long and I ended up buying things that I didn't need. So I kind of cheated on my No Makeup By, but... I, I just, I don't have an explanation. So I did buy the thing that I originally went in there for, which was a foundation. So they matched me with a Lancome foundation, and it's in French, and my French pronunciation really sucks, so I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but this is what it looks like, and it's a 24-hour foundation. So it took them about an hour to match me with something, so if you're really, really pale like me, I would suggest trying this foundation or the Makeup Forever HD foundation. That's the one that they tried on me. The last time I went in for a match but this is really nice I mentioned this in I think my February favorites and I also have this in my current makeup routine video so I'll link that in the down bar if you guys haven't seen that yet but this is really nice it gives beautiful coverage and it does last all day um, I actually went to the movies yesterday with Taylor so we were gone for about like eight hours and I went to take my makeup off and my foundation was still really really on there and then since I was in Sephora too long I ended up getting two more things and these were actually things that the guy had been testing on my face just to like finish my face makeup so I ended up impulsing impulsingly buying these things which is so bad but I got the hourglass ambient lighting powder and this is in ethereal light I think that's how you pronounce it but it's basically just a powder. This is what it looks like. So it looks pretty basic and simple. But I've been basically using this powder just to set my under eye concealer. So I've just been placing that under there with a really small brush. Just to bring some light to that area because it is such a dark place under there. And I also got an hourglass blush because I could not resist. It just looks so pretty when he put it on my face. So this is in the color Dim Infusion. And this is what it looks like. It has a mix of colors going on. And it's just so so pretty. I've never tried any hourglass products before but I'm in love with them so it's a really pretty peachy color. I just swatched it right there on the back of my hand. It's just so pretty really light simple color but it adds such a nice glow and just brightens up my face. And then from the drugstore this was on sale so I had to pick it up and this is the Got To Be Dry Shampoo and I mentioned this in my last empties video I think and this is my all-time favorite dry shampoo that I've tried. This is how I survive between hair washes. This next thing was also on sale and I pretty much only buy these when they're on sale because they're really expensive. But this is the Crest 3D White White Strips in Glamorous White. I bought a box of these last year, kind of around like November maybe. And I used that whole box and my teeth got so, so white. And every time I see my sister, she comments on how white my teeth are. So I kind of wanted to keep that up. So I decided to just get another box of these. And yeah, these are just so good. The results are really long lasting. And they don't make my teeth very sensitive that I've noticed. I've used about two of these strips within the last like week and a half and I haven't noticed any sensitivity at all. These next few things were also on sale. I just love when things go on sale. It makes me really happy. And these are some makeup brushes that I picked up and these are from the brand Quo which is actually a Canadian makeup brand. So these brushes are originally I think between like 13 and like $16 or something like that. So they're a pretty decent like price for these brushes but they were on sale for $2. So I pretty much had no choice but to pick up a few of these and I got some from my own makeup collection and then some from my makeup kit for when I'm doing like freelance makeup. So I'm just going to show you guys which ones I picked up. And they're all still in the packaging because I haven't had a chance to wash them yet because washing makeup brushes is one of my least favorite chores in the whole wide world. But it's also one of my favorite like once it's done because it feels so nice like putting makeup on with clean brushes. I got the cream blush brush which is like angled and it looks like that. And then I got the Crease Shadow Brush, and I have actually another one of these in my collection that I've had since I first started like using makeup on myself, so I've had it for, how old am I? 
I don't even know. I've had it for about five years or so and I actually use it to set my under eye um, concealer so you've definitely seen it in my past videos. So I got another one of those because I love it so much. And then I just got a cream eyeshadow brush, a ultra fine eyeliner brush which looks like that, a retractable lip brush, and then the last one I got was the angled eyeliner brush. I was ridiculously excited that these brushes were on sale so I decided to go back and pick up some for you guys. So I picked up four different brushes. So I got the cream blush brush, the cream eyeshadow brush, the angled eyeliner brush, and the ultra fine eyeliner brush. So this giveaway will be international so if you guys live anywhere else in the world you guys can have a chance to try some Canadian makeup brushes and I'll most definitely throw in some random surprise goodies as well. So all you have to do is be subscribed to this YouTube channel and comment down below telling me um, what you guys are up to for today. And also in your comment just tell me your Twitter username or Instagram username or your email or something just so I have another way of contacting you because YouTube giveaways are kind of like sketchy because there's those like random people that make fake accounts that message you. So just put that in your comment as well. And I'll also have the rules just listed in the description box down below. So that's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this small haul. I love you guys very very much. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.